soccer balls are hexagons and pentagons stitched together. So every soccer ball is 20 hexagons and, and 12 pentagons that are stitched together. Seventy percent of the world's hand-stitched soccer balls come from this city, which is 40 percent of the overall soccer ball market. The roughly 135 firms that we found operating in the city at the time made soccer balls in the exact same way. And this meant to us that if we could come up with a way for them to improve their production process, then that could be potentially an idea that would diffuse throughout the marketplace. We chose 35 companies to give this new technology out to for free. What we noticed was after 15 months that most of the firms in our sample had not adopted our dye. It seemed to us that the workers were kind of misinforming the owners about the potential benefit of the new cutting pattern. So then the question is why would they want it? Why would they do that? So this was a very classic problem in economics known as a principal agent problem in which the principal, which is the owner of the factory, kind of really benefited from this new cutting pattern. The typical cutter would make one and a half rupees per pentagon cut. In the absence of compensating the workers by potentially increasing the amount they get paid per pentagon or changing them to a fixed wage, the workers don't gain in that increase in profits. We chose a subset of these firms to basically give a fixed payment to the cutters and, and the printers if they used a new cutting pattern. We saw big increases in adoption. One of the messages that comes from this is that in order to get kind of truthful revelation of your workers in terms of what new technologies should we think about adopting, you may need to uh, make sure that they share in the benefits of those new technologies.